Welcome back to Black News Tonight. Brotherhood amongst black men is a special bond, and some friendships, well, they last a lifetime. Our next guest stars in a new series, Johnson, which shows just that. Take a look. Let's play basketball. Me and Jarvis, you and this terrible guy. No. Alice. You're horrible, man. What? In elementary school, we all had to line up in alphabetical order for lunch. These guys were next to me because y'all had the same last name. I know it's hard for us black men to open up, let alone to talk to somebody who really understands. I was wondering if you've seen Greg. Which Greg? Yeah, yeah, you know, he's working right now. I just can't, I can't hear you. Bye. Men don't break the cold, girl. Johnson, an all-new original series, premieres August 1st on Bell. Executive produced by Cedric the Entertainer, Johnson follows the friendship of four men who share the same last name and also share similar black experiences in modern day America. The show is set to premiere on Bounce TV this Sunday, August the 1st. And our next guest is Derek Brady. He plays Jarvis Johnson, one of the lead characters on Johnson. Joining me now to talk about the new series and, and so much more is the man himself, actor Derek Brady. Good to see you, my brother. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me on your show. Always, man. Talk to me about this story. I mean, it, it, it tells it, the, Johnson tells the story of four lifelong friends who share the same last name and experiences. Uh, what does your character sort of do in that relationship, in that that four way bond? Uh, my character is interesting because my character, we all you know came from the same same neighborhood, but I ventured out and I end up uh, I went to to Yale and got a degree and then came back home. And so my character is very affluent. Uh, I own my own brokerage firm uh, in real estate. I have 35 employees. And so um, I'm a, I have a little bit more success in uh, as far as what my goals were to achieve. Um, and my other guys are definitely doing things in their own right, but they're still kind of finding exactly um, how they're navigating through their professional uh, way of work. Um, so yeah, that's I would say that's kind of like my character. What drew you to this kind of a project? I mean, obviously we all want to get paid and we all want visibility and we all love good roles, but I feel like there was more to this than that for you. Absolutely. Um, this is the thing. I, you know, I've been in the game for a little while, but this was the first time that I had an opportunity to be part of a show where you have four black leads that are navigating through life and we're dealing with real issues and the real climate. And I love the idea of brotherhood, of meeting each other when we were in elementary, lined up on the blacktop and found out we all, we all had the same last name. And so we became friends, then family and then brothers. And so um, I just haven't, I've never had the opportunity where while making you laugh and entertaining you to still deal, deal with deep issues from a black male's perspective. That's different. So um, that was one of the things that really drew me to the show and that I just loved about it. What are some of those deep, heavy issues that we should be thinking about more when it comes to black men and, and maybe even black male relationships? Well, I think the thing that I showed that's, does, that's, that's really well is that um, we deal with things, although very honest, but it's from a non-biased you know, place. And on our show, black males really have a voice as well as the black queens that are on our show that have a voice the women that are on our show have a voice and we're dealing with some of the issues everything from voting uh with marriage how we have ideals about interracial marriage how what our thoughts are as far as like you know the climate and how we feel about that and what are we contributing to and what are we trying how are we trying to help um i think johnson really dives in some of the complex issues and then helps us navigate with four lead characters that have you know, different perspectives, although they're unified in a lot of ways, we have some convictions that are different. And so we get to hold each other accountable as well as uh, be unified on some of those issues. What do you think America gets wrong the most about black men? <sighs> wow, that's <laughs> how much time do we have? I mean, I think a lot <laughs> of things is that, you know, we are engaged uh, fathers in our families. I think a lot of times America thinks that um, we're not really focused with goals to achieve. We're kind of just floating and we kind of just think about the fun side of things. But many of us are very specific, specific and strategic on how we're going about life and that we want to build. 
um, and uh, we don't want to float, right? And that we are very intelligent, can hold conversations and be on complex issues and be able to give our, our ideals and articulate those. I think sometimes we America that if we're not, you know, given song lyrics, then we don't have much to say and we absolutely have much to say. And I think we saw that even in the last election, we have much to say with our voice and our vote matters, right? And I think that um, with social media, we have a volume now that's different, that's not going back. And we get to turn that up and it has to be listened to. And I think that we're approaching things in a galvanized way with specifics that our voices have to be heard. I mean, your voice is being heard for sure, not just on this project, but also what you do behind the camera. I love that you recently produced uh, the championship rounds. Uh, a lot of people don't know about that project, but it has some heavy hitters on the cast. Can you talk about the championship round? Absolutely, man. Uh, you know, my producing partner, MD Walton, actually wrote the script for the championship rounds, and we did it. And a lot of people thought, uh, maybe you shouldn't do this, just do it as a feature. But we knew that we needed an electronic business card to let people know we're not just actors that just want to work, but that we really are storytellers. So we brought a cast together to do this film. Uh, Harold Perrin from Claws and Best Man, Rutina Wesley, the talented Rutina Wesley from uh, from Queen Sugar, True Blood, um, uh, Lawrence Gilliard from The Wire, Deuces, and uh, um, we introduced uh, also in a, a big way, Michael Anthony Spady, who uh, was from the movie The Hammer. And uh, it's about uh, you know uh, a young African-American boxer who's deaf and through child complications, ends up raising a six-month-old son on his own. And so he's trying to find his way to really break the cycle of not growing up with his father. And the thing that really drew me to even doing that project is, is that he's trying to be a father to a son that he never had. So he's really trying mm. to find his way out of poverty as well as break cycles. And um, now we're working on that as a feature uh, with Anthony Hemingway uh, attached. You know, you know, Anthony Hemingway, amazing work everything from People versus OJ. He just did Aretha Franklin, Genius. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, we're just excited to put this thing together for the world to see the feature uh, some time to come. Brother, I'm so proud of you and the work you're doing. And the world is going to know your name and know your face and know everything you're about as these new projects come out. Uh, Skyscope Pictures uh, is going to yeah. be that next space of yours where just amazing, world-changing, world-affecting, consciousness-raising projects emerge, man. I'm just so proud of you, brother, and, and thank you for spending some time with us, man. Thank you so much for having me on the show, bro. I just think you're so talented. I love your work, and it's been a pleasure to be on here talking to you, man. I can't wait to meet you in person after this whole COVID thing settles. That's it, bro. We're gonna, we gonna make it happen, man. Everybody, stay with me. We got so much more coming up. I wanna tell you what's going on in these digital streets. You do not want to miss it.